Hello everyone, this is Philip Kowalski from excelblock.net and this is part 4 of my series, the 23 most important Excel functions, part number 4, the mighty VLOOKUP. Alright folks, today we are going to have a look at a very popular function, the mighty VLOOKUP. But before you ask yourself, what is this guy looking like? If you ask yourself, is this is really orange hair that he has? Yes, it is because yesterday was Halloween and I thought I'd just enlighten my little ones a little bit by coloring my hair orange. Well, what does that have to do with Excel? Absolutely nothing, I have to admit. But hey, that's the way it is. Shall we start with VLOOKUP right now? VLOOKUP is a very popular function because it is quite mighty and what it can do is actually take a value like this one here look it up over here in this table return something from this table uh, into this here so it is like a linking yeah as the name says a lookup uh, function um, so um, actually it consists um, of four elements I usually call them three triple WT and that stands for what are we looking for where are we looking, which value to return, and true or false. Um, and it has steps to the H lookup, which, we'll, which we will not cover in more detail. And um, the V lookup, um, the V stands for vertical, so it looks up vertically and returns a value from the same row, whereas the H lookup looks up horizontally and returns a value from the same column. Um, as tables are oftentimes created, like we see here in my little example, the VLOOKUP is way more popular than the edge lookup. Okay, so um, let's start. Let's say we have a commission table, or we have a we have sales table like this with monthly revenues or annual revenues or whatever you name it, and we would like to see which commission rate and depending on that, which commission do the salespersons get? Okay, so let's start with VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is this value here, it's the revenue that the salesperson made. And as usually I fix it for the column because I'd like to have the row dynamic but fix it to column E. I also created um, already table names as I'd like to uh, work with uh, names and the table name I was looking for is here this S commissions table S stands for start as we have a, a finished version already and there it is F commission table and we don't want to interchange that so okay S commission table you see it here the table is marked okay the next is the column index number and the column index number is actually from the target table the one that is marked in red here which column do we want to return so we look up in the leftmost column that's very important for VLOOKUP we look up in the leftmost column the value we're looking for has to be in the leftmost column I only can repeat it and we would like to return in this case something from the second column so it's one two and we'd like to return the percentage value so column index number would be two and the next one is quite interesting. It is true or false. True stands for an approximate match, whereas false stands for the range lookup stands for exact match. Um, in this, and I have um, both examples here, um, we will have a look at the exact match uh, later on. And a close match or, or approximate match in this case means, I mean, the revenue usually is never on the point. As you can see here, for example, John made 25,895, so that is above 20,000, which is this row here, and that would be his commission, but he doesn't make 25,000 exactly. Okay? So, in this case, as we're working here with numbers, this is an approximate match. We take through here, close parentheses, and there we have it. And that's true. If you're below 10,000 but above zero, you get 5% commission. Okay, so let's copy that down. As you can see, Paul is a big winner this month. He has made more than 50,000 and he gets 10%. Whereas John is above 25,000 but below 40 and therefore is in this range, 7.5%. Right? So this is how the 
close match or maybe a approximate match is a better word as this match is more of Excel's wording. So let's have a look where we need um, the exact match and that's the uh, second example I have here. Exact match is usually used when we are working for example with text. There is no approximate match in in um, uh, if, you're, if you're looking up text because um, how approximate would that be? Would it be only one letter in that word wrong or two or three who could determine it? So usually when working with text or looking up text values in another table um, it is usually exact match because it whether it is that text or it isn't and then it is an exact match. Okay, so let's see how we can um, give um, credit lines here based on this credit rating. Okay, again um, F2 no. equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value again here is this credit rating. Fix it for the column again. The table array that we're looking in is um, the credit rating table. So that is this one, the red one. Again, we would like to return the second column here. One, two. And in this case, as again, as we're working with text, only exact match would work. So we're using false for exact match. And we see the credit rating here. And what I did wrong was control enter puts it down into all the cells. So let us check, do a quick check here. Smith has a bad credit rating, so his maximum credit line is 500, whereas Doe has an outstanding credit rating and their credit line is up to $10,000. So that concludes my um, tutorial on the VLOOKUP function. Um, there is quite some discussion going on if VLOOKUP um, is, is really the best lookup function. I myself would say it is not. And we will cover this within the next days because it has one major limitation. And the major limitation is that the value that we're looking for always has to be in the leftmost column. And this is usually not always the case. And in most uh, cases, you cannot shift columns around. So there's a better solution to that. But we will cover this over the next few days. There's a better solution for that. But for this tutorial, um, um, for VLOOKUP as an understanding, this is it so far. If you'd like to download the example file, just go to my um, blog www.excelblock.net. I have linked um, the um, post in the description of this video. Um, uh, just give me a share or like or plus one and download the example files and work with me together. Okay, so far so good. See you next time. Bye-bye.